Hi everyone, it's Abhina from Phone Bunch and this is the TCL Pride. Now TCL isn't a name that you would associate with smartphones. Actually they used to make televisions long back, I don't exactly remember when. But they are coming into the smartphone space with the TCL Pride which features a 5 inch full HD display, 13 megapixel rear, 8 megapixel front facing camera and it's powered by a Snapdragon 615 octa core processor with 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of expandable storage. So that's a TCL Pride right up top, let's see what else we get inside the box. Now this is the black color, you can also get it in white. I get a micro USB to USB data syncing and charging cable, a headset and it seems TCL forgot to send us the charger but you do get that within the box as well. So folks this is the TCL Pride. Now this one comes with a 5 inch full HD display, it's OGS and you have some protection on top as well. It's a very stock looking interface, uh, you do have this TCL stream quite like Google now where you can get your weather information, some news as well and trending apps and such. But it's actually the feel of the device that I really like. It feels great to hold in the hand and moreover the 5 inch size is really perfect. If we come to the right you will see that you have the power lock and a lock button as well as the volume rocker. Both are quite sturdy and the phone actually curves on the sides and at the top as well which makes it very good to hold. At the top you have the 3.5 audio jack. Now there's nothing on the left at the bottom micro USB port, a single speaker and a microphone made to look like a secondary speaker just to keep the design uniform. If you move to the back you'll see a 13 megapixel camera, secondary noise cancellation mic and LED flash along with the TCL branding. The back has a very nice concentric circle design which feels great to hold. It, it makes the phone very easy to grip as well and gives it a unique look. It reflects light quite a lot which makes it look very appealing. Now if you come to the insides you will see that you have two separate sim card slots, it is a 4G LTE cable device and you have a separate micro SD card slot to expand storage along with a 3050mAh battery which is non-removable. In the front you have an 8 megapixel camera, proximity and light sensors along with the notification LED which you see glowing white right there. Now this phone features an iris scanner sort of a thing, it's actually not a scanner separately, it just uses the front facing camera to capture biometric information about your eyes so that it can actually unlock with that. I'll show that to you in a moment. Now let's talk about this display. So you have a 5 inch 1080p panel here. It is plenty sharp. The color reproduction is just about alright. It's a bit towards the warmer side but still it has decent viewing angles and great touch response. Now let's come to the camera. So you have a 13 megapixel rare camera which can record 1080p videos. It does take a little bit of time to focus in. There are several modes available including a manual mode where you can even control the shutter speed, white balance as well as focusing. So lots of manual control available here. And you have an 8 megapixel front facing camera which is I think the first in this price segment. Now here are some of the images that were captured with this camera. The color reproduction is slightly off. The images do seem slightly bland in colors. Especially when you compare it to the Moto G3, the colors do seem a bit undersaturated. Focusing does take a little bit of time even in good lighting. Now if we come back to the software, this phone is running Android 5.0.2 Lollipop right out of the box, not Android 5.1 as was said in the listing. And we don't know when it would be upgraded further. But overall it does perform quite well because it's quite stock. There are no major additions to the interface, if the launcher is a bit different then you can always install the Google Now launcher. Now out of the 16 gigs of storage you have about 10 odd gigs available and you have 2 gigs of RAM available on the device out of which generally 800 to 900 MB was free. Now this is the iris scanner that I was talking about, it's just using your front facing camera and does unlock your phone pretty quickly. Now if we come to web browsing that was again pretty smooth. No major lag, pinch to zoom also worked out great and even in terms of general performance this phone didn't lag at all and again it didn't heat up as well during the time that I spent with it. The camera worked well, apps did open up quickly. Overall it's a pretty decent package. Now let's come to the price. 
So the TCL Pride has been priced at about Rs 10,500 and is exclusively available from Snapdeal. I'll have links in the description. Although this is a very crowded space, the TCL Pride does seem like a pretty decent offering given that it feels good to hold in the hand and nobody is actually focusing on smartphones with 5-inch displays at the moment. Most in this price segment, apart from the Moto G3, have 5.5-inch screens. So in that front, it definitely does work. Do it us with your comments as to what do you think about this device. We'll come back with more videos on it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, do mention those as well. And as always, have a great day.